Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we get into the actual metal detecting video, um, we wanted to show you this little giveaway that we did for a subscriber of our channel. It's a boy called Owen. He's, uh, I think he's like 10, 10 years old, maybe eight, eight or nine, 10, I don't know. But anyway, he's definitely new to the hobby, guys. And me and dad wanted to show up and give him his first detector. And um, yeah, it was actually pretty special to us. And hopefully he enjoyed it, which from what we've heard from his parents, I'm pretty sure he has. So yeah, check it out, guys. Hey man, what's up? How are you? How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you guys? I'm good. That's good. So you must be Owen. And then what's your name? Lucas. Oh, okay, Lucas. Yes, sir. Well, sweet man. Do you know who I am? I I watch your videos. Oh, really? Sweet. So you like metal detecting and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. Sweet man. Well, I'll tell you what. I got you this. We kind of did a little uh, giveaway, and uh, we just wanted to give this to you right here, man. We heard you might want it to get into the hobby. So, I'd love to take you out sometime, though, for sure, man. That'd be cool. I mean, I, I doubt you'd want to follow me because I don't find anything cool, but, I mean, shoot. <laughs> Dad, if you wanted to find something cool. And then here you go. We actually had a spare one, dude. So, you, man. yeah, man. So, if you Thank wanted you. to get together and, you know, do some metal detecting or something cool like that, that'd be what's up, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, so. And now you get to be on YouTube. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. So, well, hopefully you guys don't. My, your dad said you'd really like to be on YouTube. You said you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, so I tell you what, one day we'll have to take you guys out and you'll both maybe be YouTube famous. We're not famous <laughs> yet, but we're going to try to be. Maybe one day down the road, you know. So, you heck yeah, guys. But All right, you, man, I appreciate it. If yeah, you man. guys get any questions about them, you know, feel free to ask whenever you need, you know, if you need anything. We'll see what we can help you with. And hopefully you find something cool out right in Oklahoma. If you find anything too cool, make sure you give it back to me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. All right, well, it was nice meeting you guys. Sorry, nice yeah, meeting you. nice Appreciate meeting you. you. Dad, dude, you're strong, boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. See you later, buddy. All right? Take care. Thank you all. All yeah. right. Have a great day. <laughs> all right. We're back in the park today. We've had many of uh, detecting videos from this particular area. This is the old municipal pool. They say eventually they're going to put something here, so we're trying to get every gold ring, every kind of ring we can get out of the ground. About a year ago, I did a video where I notched out everything from 52 and above. When I first got the Simplex, it was really tough with so many signals in here. I was just learning the tones, and so I notched everything higher, the higher numbers out. If you go back to watch that video, you'll hear in there where we found over, probably about over $200 worth of quarters alone in here. So we've dug the high signals out a lot. There's still a lot of pennies in here, a pile of pennies. I get tired of digging pennies. There's still some dimes in here. And there, there could be some still decent high, mid-high tones, but I want to just concentrate on the, the low signals. But today I'm not notching anything out here. This is, a, like I said, over a year later. I've learned the, the simplex tones pretty good. So today I'm just trying to sort through all the signals at one time, but I'm mainly concentrating on the low tones. I'm trying to dig rings here today. Uh, if I do get a really good high signal that, you know, 89, 90, 91, you know, I'm gonna dig that also, but I'm mostly concentrating on them 20s up to by 50s to see if I can find any rings. I'm going to turn my headsets off here. I want you to listen to these signals. I mean, there's tons of signals here. And then I got actually got a signal here marked where I scraped the ground because it's one of them tweener signals, as I maybe would want to call it. There is a 23, 24 in there. It might be a nickel, might be a pool tab. I've already dug four nickels and like five pool tabs, which actually is pretty good being that, you know, me and Jordan's really hammered it with the AT Pro, the Equinox, the Simplex. Uh, last year alone, I think I found something like 20 couple rings in here, just me. So we're still finding 
them low signals. So there's still good, good, good possibility there's rings left here. But anyways, let's listen to some of these signals that's here. As you can hear, a lot, a lot, a lot of signals. But right in here, I got a low signal. And I want to check that low signal out because that could be possibly a ring. So I'll dig it. Like I said, as you can see, I got it marked here i just scraped the ground i'm gonna dig it and i'll get back with you even if it's a junk i'll let you see it you can see here's the signal it doesn't look like it's going to be a ring it's probably going to be a pool tab but i'm going to tell you what i'll take that right now because you know that's where your rings are going to come at if you ain't digging pool tabs if you ain't digging nickels with a simplex you're not finding gold or even the small even silver rings i think the class ring I found two class rings here last year, and I think both of them come up in the 40s, 50s. So you got to do, you got to dig this. Ain't no way around it. You're going to dig a pile of trash. I got a pile of trash in here right now. I got a few nickels. But if you ain't digging that, you're not going to be finding rings. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to hunt here for about an hour. Looks like it could rain at any time. But as long as the rain holds off, I'm going to dig here for a while. Let's see what happens. I hear a lot of people talk about how chattery the simplex is but to me i like it being like that i mean there's just so much stuff a lot of times in the ground like listen here that's all different signals so but when people's going fast i think it sounds chattery to them but the recovery speed on this thing is so fast that is just picking up all these different signals and people make that out as a weakness for the simplex but i think it actually pretty cool to have that kind of pickup speed i'm used to the at pro i swung it i swung the at pro probably eight years and it's a great machine but the pickup speed of this simplex to me amazes me sometimes and you miss a lot of a lot of things possibly in the ground without a quick recovery speed so i think a lot of people feel it's chattery but i think it's because they're detecting where there's a lot of stuff out in the ground and i'm actually over a pretty decent high signal right there probably a quarter i'll dig it and i'll show you what it is but just talking about a chattery detector sometimes that's a good thing and i think in the simplex that is a good thing because of the recovery speed. Let's see what this is. Here's a, what it was in that hole. It was just a dime. But, you know, as I was thinking, you know, I hear a lot of people tell a lot of these new detectorists, you know, to dig everything. Dig every signal. Well, you heard what that simplex sounded like. Could you imagine digging every one of these signals? So that's where it comes to learning the detector. You got to learn which signals you want to dig, you know, depending on where you are. You know, you're, I'm in a, an old municipal pool, as I said earlier, lots of can slaw that I'm trying to avoid, avoid. I'm trying to avoid the pennies. So sometimes you just got to learn the tones and dig the ones that you, you feel comfortable with. And then you could always come back later and dig them iffy signals right now you know i'm still digging solid signals like that one right there that was a solid 89 90 it was a dime yeah I, i'll hand i can handle a dime but i i really don't want no pennies right now you know i'm still looking for rings but who's to say here another couple weeks down the road i might be in the mood to dig some pennies and find out what these 71 72 73 signals are and then come back and you know i'll probably be surprised because some of them might be jewelry who knows but you, you know you got to be where you're at you know you're right in the middle of the field and you're only getting a signal here and there yeah you dig everything but when you're in a place that has a lot of trash you got to be selective you got to learn your tones don't always go by that vdi always go by that tune use that vdi as a backup to help you make a decision and then i do like the 90 
I turn 90 away from where I'm at. If that signal stay, stays pretty consistent, I'm probably going to dig it. Okay, I may have my first ring. It's This was right along the fence line, which makes sense because I remember being here in the pool. Everyone always liked being back against the fence. And you think people put stuff on their beach towels or whatever, fling it, and it goes. But could be my first ring of the day. I seen this here, and I stopped. Oh, okay. It's not going to be a ring, but it is a piece of jewelry. Unfortunately, it doesn't look gold. The little band that goes on the earring looks goldish, but... You can see, whoops, you can see the rest of it's pretty, pretty corroded. But anyways, it was coming up a 4445, pretty well solid. And it was only about three inches in the ground. And that is actually where we find most of the rings, about three to six inches here. So my first piece of jewelry, and I probably got five nickels and probably, oh man, 10 pool tabs. So just got to be slow. I mean... To hear some of these signals like this one here, I had to be really, really slow and just taking it easy. I'm just having a good time today. It's nice out, it's cool out, and I'm just enjoying myself. So first piece of jewelry for today. Wow, like I said, I am going out <laughs> along the edge here and I just want you to listen. Pay attention to this recovery speed of the simplex. It's pretty amazing. And you gotta remember, each time you're hearing something, that's an object in the ground. This is just crazy. So that's where people get the chatterness. It's not chattery. It's just picking up that many signals. And I'm right here this edge, and, and I can guarantee you, I could dig every one of them signals, and there would be something coming out of there. I ain't gonna say it's gonna be great, but there's a signal, there's a reason why that simplex is making that chatter. Okay, I'm on that same stretch. I just found that earring up there. And I had a funny feeling that I should have live dug this, but that's what happens when you don't listen to that little still voice sometimes. But I see shiny, something shiny there, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a ring. It almost looks like maybe an earring. I don't know how good the camera's picking it up. But, oh, okay. Oh, nice. I don't want to forget that little, put him there. But, and actually, right there is where I was just showing you all the chatter as I was coming through right here, this is where it, you know I had all them signals. But in amongst them signals was a low signal. And this came up like a 2930 on the simplex. And you can see pretty cool little font. I'll take that any day. It's just a junker, but man, it's pretty. It'll clean up really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to live dig this one. Uh, I got the shovel in the ground, but I haven't dug up a hole yet. It was just coming up a really good uh, 3940 on my simplex. Could be a coin, could be a pool tab, could be what I'm hoping for is some jewelry. So let's see here. I should have live dug the, the last one, and I didn't. So this one here, I'm going to go by gut instinct and we'll. We'll live dig it. Let's see what happens. There it is. Infamous pool tab. But as I told you before, you ain't digging pool tabs. You're not digging jewelry at all. I've told you before, I ain't going to go over it again. But anyways, we've detected this pretty hard. And we've dug mostly all the quarters in this area. But I did get a lone high signal. It's coming up 90, 91, 92. I thought it was going to be a quarter. But it looks like it could be the out ring or the out shape of a ring. It's pulled out together. Oh yes, it's a ring. It's probably going to be silver, I would guess. 
it definitely looks silverish I'll get that cleaned up really nice that's just a tiny ring but at least I reached the goal today it's not gold but it is I almost guarantee you a silver ring so you can't dig it all I mean like I've told you we've we've dug about every quarter in here probably two hundred dollars worth of quarters that's kind of a surprise to dig a silver ring out of here all right this is going to be my last hole today um it's nothing spectacular just another pool tab but where there's pool tabs there's going to be rings i'm going to give you a uh, show i'm going to show you all the junk i dug today dug quite a few holes i got three keepers out of the all the holes i dug but uh yeah, here's what here's what all I dug. Lots and lots of pool tabs. I don't know how many there. Are. Probably 20, 25 pool tabs. There's a what five nickels there and a dime there, just because it was a high tone. I wanted to dig it. The nice silver ring, like I said, it was a high tone. It was like a 90, 91, 92. Pretty little sil uh, silver. It looks like almost like a sweetheart ring. And there was the other earring and I guess a necklace piece. So, all in all, for a hard, hard hit area, that's not too bad. With the simplex, and also I had it, my iron, let me see here. Let me give you a little review of how I had my machine set up. I hope you can see it because I can't really tell through the camera. But uh, at the time I had it, it would actually ground balance at like 45 is where it ground balanced. And I had my um, iron up to a two. I wanted to hear everything in the ground. I wanted to know what was going on in the ground. I didn't have anything notched out. That's pretty much the main things that I had it set up. But as I said, when I found that silver ring, you know, nothing's ever dug out. You know, when you go to places and they say, uh, oh, ain't no use detecting here. We done dug everything out. It ain't and dig it all out. A big area here we found probably since we've been detecting it uh probably close to 30 some rings over 200 dollars in quarters and we're still finding stuff so just remember if you take anything from this video remember go slow you're in an area that's got a lot of signals take your time um dig them signals that's a really good repeatable that you feel comfortable digging come back later and dig you know you can work your way through the signals just like here there's hundreds and hundreds of signals you'd be a day in one little tiny area so you got to learn your tones that's the main thing learn them tones learn that good low tone good low tone for me is usually 23 to about 45 i love them tones 23 being a nickel and then gold falling all in between gold could be lower than 23 you never know but learn your machine, that's the main thing, and have fun digging. If you like this video and you like more content like this, give us a thumbs up and let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.